just a quick video today on panoramas um, a lot of people seem to find a lot of money being spent on software to do their panoramas or they do it in camera I never have any luck doing it in camera so I tend to use software but I don't like to pay for software <laughs> so I use image composite editor which you can see here on my desktop um, this is a freebie actually from Microsoft research team and uh, it, it does the job very very well and it's quite easy to use as well as you'll see so we'll double click on it and go into the composite editor and here it comes there we have it on our page and as you can see you've only got three options new panorama new panorama from videos that's sorry that one's from images that's from videos or open the existing panorama we're just going to do a new panorama so i'll click on that and it throws me straight back into my pictures folder so now I need these three images one two and three so I'll just select those and then we just click the open button and it takes you straight into your next page which is the import page now the only thing you need to make sure of on the import page really is this auto detect sometimes doesn't auto detect very well so as I use a rotating motion I'm going to click on the auto de detect which brings up the box click on rotating motion now it knows what I've done and how I've done it and that will help it stitch these three images together a bit better and it's a simple matter of just pressing the stitch button and as you can see it aligns them and then it joins them together and now we go on to this page here now this is the the final image all joined together um, and over here you can see we have all these different projections now as we go through them one at a time we go to cylindrical you can see how that's made it slightly different uh, perspective let's just blow the image up a bit transverse cylindrical stretches it out to one side mercator transverse mercator spherical transverse spherical orthographic which is very similar to fisheye but fisheye is just slightly wider stereographic which is very similar to fisheye and perspective now we're going to lose a lot of image if we use something like perspective or cylindrical because it's, it's not a square edge so i'm going to go back and just look at the fish eye one which gives us a much cleaner image and we're not going to be losing any detail from up in the top right or left hand corners so once we've decided which one we're going to use we're going to use the fish eye then we just come up here to option three and press option three crop that then takes us into this image here uh, we've got the crop box outside where well, all we really want to do is get the most that we can out of this image um, by cropping now we can drag the lines in if that's what you want to do but the easiest way is to just go straight over here to auto crop and press the button and it automatically does it now that that's done and we now have the auto crop up to the export button press export and you can see it's now cropped the image as it was um, in, in, the, in the crop box up here now all we have to do you know, there's nothing else we really can do here is just export to disk so we'll press that and it will offer us that this image here which is now called a stitch JPEG is going to go back into the pictures folder so we we'll save, do save and it's already saved it in there so now all we've got to do is close the box down okay and we now should have it in our pictures folder so if we go into pictures again there it is okay that's all there is to it but it's a nice easy one to use and it's free so don't look a gift horse in the mouth get it as soon as you can